Kirk Franklin. Oh, my Lord. Just dancing like the world, which I expect him to do because he's a sinner. That's right. People think I dance too much and, right. you know what I'm saying, I move around too much. Even people that love God, love Jesus, everybody don't worship the same way. Gino Jennings has boldly uncovered the deceit within Kirk Franklin's music, passionately discussing how Kirk Franklin's music is often classified as worldly, because it can be heard on secular radio stations and even in nightclubs. According to Jennings, Kirk Franklin music videos depicts women dressed in attire reminiscent of what one might see on individuals working in the adult entertainment industry. Jennings emphasizes the contrast between the themes of Kirk Franklin's music and the values typically associated with religious or spiritual content, urging listeners to consider the impact of consuming such media on their own beliefs and behaviors. Through vivid language and compelling examples, Jennings urges his audience to critically examine the messages embedded in the music they consume. Gino Jennings shed light on the hypocrisy that exists when someone claims to be a Christian, yet their actions contradict the teachings of the Bible. With unwavering conviction, Jennings has exposed the discrepancies present in Kirk Franklin's songs, revealing how they deviate from the true essence of Christian faith. His courageous stance has sparked a wave of awakening, prompting many to reevaluate the messages they consume and the authenticity of those who deliver them. Jennings' fearless pursuit of truth serves as a rallying cry for accountability and integrity within the realm of religious expression, challenging both artists and listeners alike to align their words and deeds with the principles they profess to uphold. Kirk Franklin! We that came in the 70s, we came up in the funk era. So we know what the funk music is like. Is that right? Amen. But to this generation who really don't know nothing about the funk, mm -hmm. they think Kirk Franklin is instituting a new music. Right. But he isn't. That's right. Because if you listen to Kirk Franklin music, he's simply taking the music that was played. Right from former groups, change some of the rhythm a little, take some of the band section from Savannah Band or James Brown Band Group or Tower Power. That's right. Or Graham Central Station or Sly and the Family Stone. That's true. And just change the lyrics. That's right. And throw the name Jesus in there a few times. That's, That's exactly right. what the devil is doing. That's right. Now, if the scripture plainly tickets put a difference, difference between holy and unholy, mm -hmm. then no so-called Christian musician, mm -hmm. music should be trying to pattern right. itself after a sinner. Mm -hmm. If the music is of God, then how can it be played on any station? Right. R&B, gospel, blues, rap. How can heavenly music be played on a, on a station that just plays strictly for partying and jamming? That's Something's right. wrong with the music. People can see that not only I'm a Christian, but I also got a little me, you know. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm, 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 I'm always trying to find a way to show people, man, I really, really love God, but I'm not perfect. Right. If Kirk Franklin. Go ahead. Supposed to be a so-called Christian. Amen. Amen. You wouldn't find his so-called Christian videos exploiting young girls, young girls with shorts bending their backside over to be praised. That's looking right. Looking like horse. That's right. Imagine that. A Christian who come on the stage, mm -hmm. pants drop down, drawers pulled up, Amen. bare chest is showing. Amen. With a cross round his neck and a microphone just walking around. Come on. Let's do it for Jesus. Come on. Let's do it for everybody's hurt. Hurt. Everybody's hurt. Right. Hurt. Here we go. Hurt. That's right. Gino Jennings' bold scrutiny of Kirk Franklin's music and behavior underscores the importance of knowing the Word of God. Not only that, but to use discernment and critical thinking in consuming media with religious themes. By highlighting the discrepancy between Franklin's music and biblical Christian values, Jennings prompts listeners to reflect on the potential influence of such content on their beliefs and behaviors. 
His impassioned critique serves as a call to action for both artists and consumers to uphold integrity and accountability in their expressions of faith. Jennings' unwavering commitment to truth resonates as a beacon of guidance in navigating the complex intersection of spirituality and popular culture. Kirk Franklin is a highly influential figure in contemporary gospel music, known for his blend of gospel, hip-hop, and pop. While he has amassed a large and devoted following, many have voiced concerns about his music and dancing. There are those who praise Kirk Franklin for his ability to reach a wide audience with his energetic performances and catchy melodies. They claim to appreciate his willingness to push boundaries within the gospel genre, incorporating elements from other musical styles to create a fresh and modern sound. They also claim his lyrics, which they believe address issues of faith, hope, and social justice, resonate with many listeners, which have earned him widespread acclaim. However, some have raised objections to Kirk Franklin's use of secular musical influences and his flashy stage presence, including his dancing. They argue that his music and performances may stray too far from traditional gospel conventions, diluting the genre's spiritual message and focusing too much on entertainment value. Despite these criticisms, Franklin remains one of the most successful and respected figures in contemporary gospel music, with numerous awards and accolades to his name. While some express love for Kirk Franklin's style of music and dancing, it's important to note that he's not a true Christian. There are many who agree, and argue that Franklin's incorporation of secular influences and worldly performances have detracted from the solemnity and reverence traditionally associated with true gospel music. His emphasis on entertainment have overshadowed the spiritual message of what a true worship song should be, leading to a superficial understanding of faith among listeners. Additionally, questions have been raised about the appropriateness of Franklin's dancing, particularly within the context of gospel music, which is deeply rooted in religious expression and worship. There are those who argue that his choreography, which often includes hip-hop and contemporary dance moves, is seen as inappropriate or irreverent by more conservative members of the religious community. Furthermore, there are concerns about the potential impact of Franklin's music and performances on younger audiences. Many worry that his blend of gospel with secular influences could blur the lines between sacred and secular music, leading to confusion about the purpose and message of gospel music among listeners, especially those who are still developing their understanding of faith and spirituality. Despite these criticisms, Kirk Franklin argues that his music has had a significant impact on the gospel genre and has played a role in attracting new audiences to the genre. It's important to stay away from Kirk Franklin's style of music. Instead, focus on worshiping God according to biblical teachings. Gospel music should prioritize spiritual edification and reverence, adhering closely to the principles and themes outlined in the Bible. Music plays a significant role in worship and should be approached with solemnity and reverence, reflecting the sacred nature of the messages conveyed in the Bible. Therefore, we should advocate for gospel music that emphasizes traditional hymns and spiritual songs, which foster a deeper connection to God and promote a more profound spiritual experience. Biblical passages such as Ephesians 5 and verse 19 and Colossians 3 and verse 16, encourage believers to sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, as well as to make melody in their hearts to the Lord. These verses endorse a more traditional approach to worship music, characterized by simplicity, humility, and a focus on glorifying God rather than entertaining audiences. Moreover, Kirk Franklin's style of music, with its incorporation of secular influences and flashy performances, may lead to a distortion of the true purpose of worship. Such music could prioritize emotionalism and entertainment over genuine spiritual growth and relationship with God, potentially leading believers astray from the core teachings of the scriptures. Gino Jennings' fearless scrutiny of Kirk Franklin's music and behavior serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of aligning one's beliefs and actions with the teachings of the Bible. By shining a light on the discrepancies between Franklin's music and traditional Christian values, Jennings prompts us to critically evaluate the media we consume and the messages we endorse. His impassioned critique challenges both artists and listeners to uphold integrity and accountability in their expressions of faith, ultimately guiding us towards a deeper understanding of the true essence of the Word of God amidst the complexities of popular culture. Through Jennings' unwavering commitment to truth, we are called to embrace discernment and critical thinking in our spiritual journey, ensuring that our beliefs and behaviors remain grounded in the principles of love, compassion, and righteousness. Focusing on true worship songs and biblical principles is paramount in shaping the music and practices of the Church. As true believers, let us continue to emphasize the importance of maintaining the integrity of worship music, as a means of glorifying God. Anyways, 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.